Hello Paper Crafters, I'm Sunny Sky, and today's card is featuring the Mosaic Mood Specialty Designer Series paper. And we're going to do some fussy cutting to create the card we want, and you could recreate this uh, using any grading you like. And the other kind of fun thing we're going to do is use a Stampin' Blends alcohol marker to color some ribbon, and you can always coordinate uh, the ribbon for any color that you'd like to go with your card. Here are the cardstock sizes that you need for today's card. This is a scrap piece of cardstock. It's the same uh, designer series paper, that mosaic mood, as the sheet we're putting in the background. So as I'm creating the background for this card, I'm going to take this sheet of designer series paper and I'm simply going to fussy cut along the edges. And I'm following the lines on the designer series paper. And so I'm just following along the outside of the, of the darker squares of the paper. Now if I go up here, that's going to be, it's going to create it kind of tall, but I'm going to go down into the second layer of this circle uh, just because I want the overall look of this uh, design to go naturally in a downhill motion. So I'm not always going to choose the largest one again on this section here. If we chose the larger section of that circle, it would kind of go straight across. And because I want it to slope downhill into where there is no paper at all, I'm simply going to take it to the second level in there uh, where it is the dark border. And this is so close to the edge, it's kind of cut off a little bit, but we'll do just like that. And then we're going to take the coordinating sheet where we're choosing a rose. And there are plenty of roses I could choose. I could choose this one here. I could choose this one. This one is close to the edge, but it's almost a full rose. If, you're, uh, if you rounded this corner here, you could use that one as well. And the same as with this one. And then the leaves we can take, like I can use this leaf that's a little bit separate. And just I will adhere it right to the back behind my flower so that it's poking out. So I think I'll go ahead and use that one as part of it. And let me just go ahead and use this flower here because it's got a couple leaves attached right there. And I'm going to finish fussy cutting this and then I'll be back to show you the next step. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and color my ribbon and I'm just going to take about a length of ribbon as my grid paper. It's about 12 inches, 11 or 12 inches. That's a good length if you're simply creating a bow. Um, this needs a little time to dry, so I want to go ahead and color it now, and then I can move on to some other steps of my card and come back to this to add it to the card, and it'll be dried. So I'm simply rubbing the brush tip of the alcohol marker along the length of the ribbon. This particular ribbon is a thinner material and you don't even have to color the back side and you're going to get uh, the green look on both sides. This is a mint macaron marker. And then while that dries, we'll go ahead and prepare the rest of our card here. Let me grab my bone folder. I'm going to take my full card and I've used the thick Whisper White cardstock for my card base. It's more sturdy than the regular Whisper White, so I want to use that as my card base. And before I glue anything down, I'm going to kind of place it here. I've got my pearlized doilies. That one's going to sort of tuck behind there. And I want to do my greeting. And I'm using terracotta tile because that is the color that's prominent in this paper. I'm using the Strong and Beautiful stamp set. And so I'm going to use the Mother's Day greeting. It's nice and thin. And I can fit that on the top of the card and still have room for the design, which is going to be the focal point of that card. And then I've chosen another saying to go on the inside of the card. And we'll see if I can get this lined up straight. And if it goes crooked, of course, hey, that's pretty good. If it goes crooked, you know, you can always stamp it on another piece of coordinating cardstock, cut it out, and layer on top. You can do layers on the inside of your card. We're going to go for the quick um, 
card this time and not layer the inside. All right, so time to glue all these pieces together. I'm gonna apply my, oh, and I have my snail I noticed is empty, so I thought I would just show you um, replacing the snail adhesive. Let me get it out of the packaging here. So when you purchase this, you get the um, entire piece, and then there's refills. So there's little tabs on the top and bottom. Squeeze in. And just remove that, toss that part, and take my refill out, and I'm just going to place that on top of the base cartridge. So it just reduces the amount of cost for the refill, so you're not replacing the whole thing. You're keeping part of the mechanism there. All right, let me go ahead and apply adhesive to this. And I want some up around on these curved edges. Um, but I do know that part of my doily is going to be tucked underneath. So as I apply this, and I'm going to put it right to the edge of the card. A lot of times I will do a layer of color on the edge of the card, but for this one I'm not. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not adhering this part yet until I place this. And then that uh, adhesive there is what's going to kind of glue that doily down. We've got our rose. And um, let's see. I'm going to put some dimensionals on that. And I have this extra... Um, you know, I think I'm going to just cut in this little bit right here between those two leaves. I think that'll make it have a little bit cleaner look. And see how I would like to place this rose here. And where do I want my other leaf? Um, I may want that on the other side here. Just peeking out there. We'll do that. All right, so I, because that's a partial leaf, I want to make sure I'm covering that up. I'm going to put it on the back side and get a dimensional and make sure my dimensional is sort of over both pieces of cardstock. It'll glue them in place there. Okay, I've got all the backings taken off of my dimensionals. And I'll go ahead and place my rose. I think I'll put it right there. And then we've got our bow. So if you're just going to do a bow in the air and it has dried now, um, I'm just going to take my two rabbit ears and wrap one around the other and then just fiddle with it. Tighten the ends, tug the tails, get it just how I want it, twist a little bit, and then I'm going to take a glue dot, a couple of glue dots I think. Go ahead and let me see if I like that. I think that looks better that side of the bow, so we'll make this be the back. Put a couple glue dots on there. Add this, let's see, down here because the rose looks a little, a little wonky down there. And just trim our tails. And that completes our card. So I also wanted to show you a couple other cards that I've done and um, created with this designer series paper. This one again where the paper is the focus of the card. Simply cut out the hummingbird from one sheet of designer series paper and added it on some hummingbird paper. And again I did a cutout on the inside and this was from a partial hummingbird that was off the edge of the paper. Um, so I didn't have the whole thing, but it looks fine on the inside of a card as a partial image. And then here's one I did with um, featuring one of the stamps that was in our catalog last fall, which this set is discontinued, but it does feature the paper, so I thought I'd just show you that idea that I've also done with this paper. I really like this paper. Um, just as a, It's beautiful, and I, this is a way to use it as a focal point, a card like this. Of course, you can add it as an accent. And this other one, I did put a little banner behind a um, little flag. This one just creating without that. So anyways, that's the idea for today. And I hope that you've enjoyed me. Hit a like on the video. Um, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, feel free to shop on my website. Check out some of the other tutorials. And have a great day. Don't forget to do some crafting.